this one's for Snowy. Oh, that's gonna be one happy dog right there. Oh, and here's one for you, Dad. Oh, thank you, buddy. It's actually for you and Mom. Yeah, a joint present from Lydia and me. For the both of you. <laughs> Did you get the tickets? You know it. I bet Mom's really gonna like that. If she ever comes out. Yeah, I want to open presents. Do we have to wait for her? Yes, we have to wait. How about this? I'll go check on her. All right? You guys hang tight. Be right back. Merry Christmas. You gonna come out? Celebrate the day? Maybe open a gift or four? Just not feeling up to it. All right, come on, the kids are waiting. You cry? Just start without me, okay? Mary, please, come on. It's just the anniversary with Dad. I know, babe. I understand what you're feeling today, but Kids got up early, they're really excited. Do you, James? I mean, my dad's gone, and now you and I aren't even guaranteed another Christmas together. I, I, I can't help it, and I want to stay in bed, okay? No. Don't do this. Come on. You don't understand. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to dwell on things that we can't control. It's in God's hands, right? Mary, please, the kids, they are out there. They've been waiting to celebrate this day with their mother. And we have been blessed with this Christmas together. And I want to go out there and enjoy it as a family. You, me, Lydia, and Caleb. I love you. I love you. Well, that's good. <laughs> and here's one for you, from me. Mom! Merry Christmas! Hi, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Merry Christmas, you guys. Wow, look at all these presents. Did Dad give you the present from Caleb and me? He did not. Uh... Is there... Now I will. <laughs> Why don't you open it? Okay. Oh, come on, Mom. Please. I mean, they ask, I answer, you know? They ask. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, oh, look at that. Hush. The wedding picture. Guys, thank you. This oh. is so great. So perfect. Wow. Look at how beautiful your mother used to be. It's crazy. And and she still is. I mean, all these years uh -huh. later, I mean, this is the same okay. person I'm yeah, looking at. Yeah, right. It's you know what? Gorgeous. You just should <laughs> run thin ice, James boys. <laughs> That's why I like to see a little fire in the belly, huh? Mm. Do you like your picture, Mom? We found the old one and got it printed and framed. I love it. I love it so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, and... This one's for me. I thought we agreed not to get each other gifts. We did. I changed my mind. <laughs> Just open. Such a rebel. I know. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Is this supposed to make me happy? We, we, we talked about going on a cruise. So in a I, year and a half? Living on faith, baby. I mean, oh, did you not understand the doctor? I did. I just I thought that this would uh, be a great I idea. Mean, do you us. remember what she said? Because I do. Like it was yesterday. With numbers like yours, Mr. Boyce, most patients don't live more than 18 months. So now you have less than a year and a half, and you go and you book a cruise for 18 months from now? Mary, come on. It's Christmas. No. Let's just... You know, I, no, I'm sorry. I just... 
I, I need a minute, okay? Hey. hey. Okay, who's next? Kids, we gotta go! Hey, you sure you don't wanna come? No, I still gotta get a start on dinner okay. and get myself ready. All that. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, listen, can we talk about this cruise thing? No, it's fine. We'll talk about it later, all right? Okay. You always say that, but we never do. Ooh, wow, you guys look great. You're not coming with us? No, you know, Grandma and your aunt and uncle are all coming over today, so somebody's gotta get the house ready. But you never go anymore. Not since Dad's diagnosis. <sighs> you know what, guys, we don't need to talk about that today, okay? Let's not mention it when the family comes over either, right? We know. Okay, Mom. Right. Okay, come here. Come on, have fun. Mwah, be good. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Mwah. Love you. Love you. All right. All right. Off we go. Off yes. We go. Put on those coats. It's cold out. God's people said. Amen. It's Harry, we hit that note and it's like, wow. You really say, man. You really say. There he is, Dad. Merry Christmas. I'm James Boyce. Uh, these are my children, Lydia, Lydia and Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. How did you? Uh, are you new here? I haven't seen you here before. I am from out of town. Oh. You visiting family? No. He's here on business. Over Christmas? I was just telling him what a shame it is he doesn't live here. We would love for him to join our worship team. Yeah. You really can sing. You a professional singer or something? No. Well, it sure sounded like it. We could hear you all the way from the front row. 
Sorry, what was your name again? It's Harry. His name's Harry. It is a pleasure to meet you. Where are you going for Christmas dinner, Harry? I do not have anywhere to go. That's terrible. No one should be alone on Christmas. Right, Dad? Right, yes. Uh, definitely not. You're more than welcome to join us. Uh, we're having an extended family over, but I'm sure we can find room for one more. Jesus, and then he's joined by a great company of angels praising God? Yeah, I'd settle for just one with some good news. Gosh. Hey, Mom! Oh, uh, hey! Hi, hey, guys! Hi, how was it? It was really nice. Good. Yeah? Um, listen, I, um, I had a, a, a little bit of hey, an Mary. accident. <sighs> oh, uh, this is Harry. We met at church. Hey. You are Mary Boyce. Yep. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> and he can really sing. Wow. He's from out of town and didn't have anywhere to go for Christmas dinner. Yeah, so we invited him to eat with us. Oh, okay. Um, that's great. Uh, listen, kids, why don't you guys take Harry and show him... Um, the Christmas tree we decorated? Yes, baby, that's a great idea, showing the Christmas tree, okay? And you guys take Snowy out with you, too. She hasn't been out in a while. Come on, Harry. It's a real live tree that's still growing. Nice to meet you, Mary Boyce. <sighs> you too. What? You know how stressed I am. Are you kidding? Like springing this guy on me at the last minute? And, and look how I'm dressed. I, I, I thought you'd be ready by now. You didn't call. You didn't text. I mean, I didn't think about it. I'm sorry, what, what do you want me to do? I mean, the man's gonna be alone on Christmas. You want him hanging out in a hotel while we enjoy Christmas dinner? Besides, aren't we supposed to show hospitality to strangers? Remember that, huh? Hey, if I get him to sing for you, you're gonna be amazed. I mean, the man has an incredible voice. He can belt it in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I expect a concert. Later. Okay. What a friendly creature. But Snowy is an odd name for a black dog. Caleb picked it. What can I say? The dog loves the snow. It would seem so. <sighs> what a beautiful Abby's Fresseri. An Abby's Frazzy what? An Abby's Fresseri, or tree. It's an Abby's Fresseri, one of the most common types of Christmas trees around here, also known as the Fraser fir. The other, the Pseudozuga mensesii, also known as the Douglas fir. Our grandfather knew those names for plants. Yes, your grandfather was a very smart man. Did you know him? Mom! Dad! Harry knows the funny names of plants just like Grandpa and... Your present. Oh no. I know, I know. I'm, I'm so what sorry, happened? you guys. I, this is the accident that I mentioned when you got home. 
I dropped it and I, gosh, I, I feel terrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Guys. We'll go back to the shop and have him make a new one. Or fix that one. Uh, I don't think this can be fixed, Harry. It's okay. We'll get it replaced next week. Okay? <sighs> okay, kids. The family is going to be here any minute. So if you guys want to just go on upstairs and get out of those church clothes. Uh, Mom, do we have to? Oh, yes, you have to. Go on. <sighs> so, Harry, tell me about yourself. You're from out of town, right? Yes, I have been sent. I'm sorry, could you hand me the mustard that's right behind you on the counter? Thank you. So, James tells me you're a singer? No, I'm not. Oh, you must have misunderstood. I do sing, but that is not my primary. That must be my Your mother. mother. Um, yeah, uh, would you mind letting her in? Is that okay? Thank you. Oh, and, and she's a little bit formal, so if, if you want to just call her Mrs. Ross. Mrs. Ross. Uh, yes, that's right, and, and, and you are... Hi, Mom! This is Harry. Come on in. It is a great pleasure to meet you. Your Euphorbia pulcherima is a very fine specimen. May I help you with your coat? Well, yes, thank you. That's very kind. Not many people know the scientific name for the poinsettia. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be a botanist now, would you, Harry? It, it is Harry, right? I once saw an enormous bed of the most beautiful Lobularia maritima you have ever beheld, Mrs. Ross. Oh, well, no need to be so formal. Just call me Helen. <laughs> and you're really not a botanist, huh? Hmm. Merry Christmas! Uh, you look like you've seen a ghost. I said Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Uh, oh, Merry Christmas, Lydia and Caleb. Merry Christmas. I've got a little something here for you. Oh, that's really oh, nice. That's nice. Nice, that's nice, Mom. Merry Thanks. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, dear. Aww. How was the drive over, Mrs. Ross? Oh, yeah. well, it took a little longer than I thought. <laughs> I missed a turn or two. I'm still not used to driving by myself. Mm. What? Huh, no use pretending. I'm missing your father just as much as you, even more. But it's just that he's... Gone to be with the Lord. Indeed. Thank you. Well, Harry's exactly right. He's gone to be with the Lord. And until we join him, we must go on living. Well, you all look well. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mrs. Ross. Oh, you do too. My own lovely you look. Uh, should be a normal response. <laughs> what is with this family today? Well, at any rate, it would appear that the meal is progressing nicely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, Harry and I are going to admire the backyard Christmas tree my grandkids decorated that I've been hearing all about. Yes, the Abbey's Fresseri. Yes. Mm. Well, come on, kids. Show Grandma your masterpiece. Come on. <laughs> oh, and do let me know when Martha and Peter arrive, okay? Sure, will do. Yep. Okay, what yeah. was that? Mm, no idea. Oh, oh. Call me, Helen. You've been her son-in-law for 15 years. You still call her Mrs. Ross. Yeah, I know. Who is this guy? I told you, he's from out of town. He's on business. So, is he a botanist or is he a singer, though? Both. Charmer, clearly. I mean, I mean that? It's so bizarre. Okay, all right, that's Martha. I'm gonna get that. You got this? Yep, I'm good. Hi! Hello! Hello. Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Here you go. Wow, yeah. Martha, that's beautiful. Made it myself to match my tree. I mean, your tree. Right, of course. <laughs> well, you are my favorite interior designer. So. I better be. Well. Feel good to see you. You look good. Nice to see you. Thanks. Belgian mare, the best they got. You know what? I would have expected nothing less. <laughs> So, uh, how have you been? You don't text, you don't call me back, you don't call at all. 
You know what, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I've just and been where busy. exactly is the... The explosion of Christmas that usually covers the boys' home. It, you hardly have any outside. I, I just, I really, I haven't had time to finish all the decorating. So I actually thought that we could do it today. You know, together. Start a new family tradition. Will you grab the door? Sure. Why are all these boxes? Hey, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, welcome, it smells so welcome! Good in here. Oh, wow! Hey, where's Mom? Oh, she's in the back. Yeah, brother? she's in the backyard with the kids and Harry. Yeah. Harry? Oh yeah, he's just someone from church who needed a place to go on Christmas. Ah, 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 ah. I was just testing it out. No, 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 no! Go, go, get Josh. The kids are all back. Because I had my mom. You can meet this guest we have. Mm -hmm. So is. Hey. Harry, a friend from church? Not a friend, just met him today, but he has a voice like Pavarotti. I mean, it's unbelievable. Really? That yeah. good there? Oh, uh, I don't know. You didn't hear him? No, no. She, uh, she wasn't there. You didn't go on Christmas Day? Oh, somebody had to get all the food ready. <laughs> Honey, this needs to go in the oven. Will you help yeah, me with it, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, you know, I'll, I'll help her. James, can you just go make sure that uh, Bill took the chocolate out to my mom? Yeah, no, he did. I saw him. Yeah, can he... you just, just go check, please? Yes. Thank you, James. Okay. There we go. All right. I have stuff to do. Yeah, and I'm going to help you, but not until you come clean. What's going on? You don't miss church. It was one time, okay? Let it go. Yeah, and, um... You also, don't forget to call me back. You don't miss our lunch dates and you certainly don't miss brunch with mom. It's, things come up from time to time, okay? Let it go. Hey, it's me you're talking to, remember? Martha, your sister, best friend for the past 30 something years. You can't fool me, what, what is it? I said it's nothing, okay? I know you're a chocolate connoisseur, and I'm telling you, Mrs. Ross, these are top of the line, Belgium's finest. Um, so Martha wanted to make sure that you didn't forget the chocolates. He didn't. Well, I was just saying these are the best from Belgium. Bill, uh, grateful as I am, you don't know the first thing about Belgium chocolate. In fact, uh, I do believe these are Turkish. It says on the box they're from Belgium. Well, perhaps, but this outfit was purchased years ago by a Middle Eastern food conglomerate. Uh, Turkish, if memory serves. And besides, Neuhaus is Belgium's finest chocolate, Bill. Neuhaus, not this. Well, it's the thought that counts, right? Yes, yes it is. I'm still gonna eat them. So between Lydia's exams and the science project, oof, and Caleb's hockey practice and band rehearsals and then the holidays, it's just been a little stressful around here. Really? I mean that and, you know, the anniversary with dad and everything. Yeah, no, it's hard. Mom's really struggling too. Plus, Petey is coming today, and you know how he winds me up. Be nice, please. I'm sorry, it's just still living off mom. I mean, come on, Lydia is more mature than that. <laughs> well, he is our brother, and we love him. So, in the spirit of the day, let's just try to extend grace. I will do my best. He has a new girlfriend, you know that? What, another one? Yeah, I think her name is Gab. B, if I'm right. You met her? Mm -mm. But she's coming today. She is? See, he didn't tell me that. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just set another place. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he says that she's nothing like the other ones. Oh, so she can read. <laughs> what? I'm just I saying. Say oh, come on, though, that last one. I, I cannot. Be nice. And once Uncle Petey gets here, we'll head out for the field. He's really good. Speedy Petey. That's what they called him in high school. He was an all-state wide receiver. How about you? What position do you play? Here we are. So you have all the gifts, right? Yeah. All right. So Mrs. Ross is your mom, and, and Mary and Martha, just like in the Bible, are your sisters. Yep. I really hope they like me. Oh, they'll like you. Probably better than they like me. 
This is Mary's house, right? And she's the one you don't get along with? You'll see. <sighs> so, uh, what about the first Sunday in the new year? You know I don't like missing our brunch. I know. I'm sorry. Things just got a little hectic at the end of this year. That's all? Yes. Just been busy. Oh, that must be Peter. And the girlfriend? Last to arrive as usual, shall we? You're late, Petey. Merry Christmas to you too, sis. Come on in. Hi, big Hi. brother. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hi. Merry Christmas. Mm. This is Gabby. Gabby, my sister's Mary, the lady of the house. And Martha. Hi. Hi. So lovely to meet you both. These are for you. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That's so nice. nice. to do that. Thank you. Yeah. Peter's told me so much about you, and it's so thoughtful for you to let me share Christmas dinner with your family. Oh, gosh. It's, it's our pleasure. We are so happy to have you. <laughs> Come on in. Come yeah, on in. Get out of it. Oh, Mom, this is Gabriella Fuentes. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Ross. And please just call me Gabby. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you, Gabby. And thank you so much. This is a very kind gesture. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas, Mom. Oh, Merry Christmas to you both. Where are the guys? Oh, everyone's out back. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Gabby, let's go say hey. Sure. Right. So sweet of her to bring us something. Okay. You got your four fingers right here, lined up yep. in laces. Find yeah, that you're here. Back. And then. Lydia, guys, Gabby, my niece Lydia, nephews Caleb and Josh. Nice to meet you. Merry oh. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And these are from me. Oh, well, maybe I'll let you take it for a spin. Your car? You let me drive it. If you speak Spanish with Gabby, she teaches it in school and I was telling her how smart you are. Right now? Yeah, come on. Show her what you got. Not in front of everyone. Don't embarrass her. Maybe later, Lydia. Whatever. Hey, guys. Yes. Hey, Petey. Hey, I'm hey, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey. This is Gabby. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Tu nombre debe ser Gabriela. Si, señor. Me llamo por mi abuela. Un hermoso nombre. Se deriva de Gabriel, el ángel de la anunciación. Y significa que Dios es grandioso. En la Biblia, Gabriel le dijo a la Virgen María que estaría embarazada. De hecho, el Todopoderoso envió a Gabriel para anunciar el nacimiento de Jesús el Salvador. La Navidad que los creyentes de todo el mundo y cielo celebran hoy. Warmest greetings, Peter. Wow, you're really fluent. Yeah, that's some serious Spanish you got there. And who are you? Oh, this is Harry. We met at church. He's here on business. And he sure can sing. And he really knows plants, too. I've never played football, though. No kidding. Hey, guys, come on inside. We're going to decorate the house. Aw, uh, Mom, not now. We were going to play football. It's our annual Christmas bowl. OK, I'll tell you what. First, we decorate the house, and then you can play football. You're kidding, right? Petey. Hey, hey, I got this. Hey, um. Petey, you play nice, and I will let you and Gabby hang the mistletoe. All right, kid, you heard your mother. First we decorate the house, then we play football. Yeah. 
and we'll take this ball. Hey, oh. Oh, so in other words, while we're here working, you'll be off relaxing? Relaxing? It's football, mm -hmm. I don't mind. Oh, okay, if you say so. Bonding, Mayor. We'll be bonding. It's a guy thing. Playing, Peter. You'll be playing while there's work to be done. I mean, it does sound like a guy thing. With respect for the pie? You're a child. You're a 30 year old child. Don't be a downer, Mayor. Not on Christmas Day. Okay, all right. Peter? Goodbye. Hey, be nice to Gabby while we're gone. I told her what a sweetheart you were. I love you. Come on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Yeah, gearing up really brings back memories. So you played? Played. I set records. Made all state. Four seasons of glory. Best years of my life. Uh, that was a long time ago, Petey. Here you go, Harry. You still got it, though, right? No it. Fastest man in the field. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Are you sure you can throw that thing after your lesson? How far? As far as you can. I'll run it down. Fastest man in the field, remember? All right, well, maybe a little warm up first, huh? <laughs> Come on. We're too young for that, right, boys? Yeah. yeah, Dad. Okay, whatever. So remember, you grab the ball like this, fingers on the laces, bring it back, throw. I'll snap it to you. After this play, it'll be us three against the old men, huh? <laughs> yeah, baby. Josh, you line up right here in front of me. Caleb, drop back 10 yards. I'm gonna run a post pattern. 10 yards good enough? Yes, it's good enough. He probably can't even throw it that far. Come on. All right. See what you got, huh, Harry? All right, so Harry, when you're ready, just yell hike. And Bill's just gonna. Oh, okay. ah! oh. Bill, you okay? Ah! Oh. oh. My okay. back. Hey, throw when it gets to Caleb. Oh, no, not the car. Not the car. Come on, not the car! Oh, no, easy, oh, easy. Ah, oh. Ow. Wow. I'm on Harry's team. Me too. Okay, ladies. Ten minute break. Cream and sugar, Gabby? Oh, no, I take mine back, thank you. Okay. Won't you be missing your family today, Gabby? No, I plan on being here today. Oh, well, this is a first for us. Ma'am? This is the first Christmas for the girls and Peter without their father. My husband, uh, he, he died last Christmas. Peter told me, I'm so sorry. Well, thank you. It's, it's been hard on us all, but especially now, right, girls? Yeah. yeah. Christmas was always a very special time for us, and he always used to love um, singing. I'm, I'm sorry, can we not talk about it right now? Mayor, come on. Come on what? If she wants to talk about Dad, she can talk about Dad. I just don't want to relive it. I'm sure Gabby would rather not endure a family tiff. It's okay, Mrs. Ross. I'm just happy to be with family on Christmas. My parents died when I was really young, so I don't really have one. Wow, so oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, we are so happy to have you. Oh, my. Well, and I have noticed, by the way, you seem to be having a very positive influence on Peter. Oh, did he move out? Uh, lately, he seems to be more responsible, more humble. Perhaps the Lord is working on Peter through you and, and others in his life. I've been praying so long, I know it'll happen. <laughs> Peter is an atheist and kind of an arrogant one. An agnostic and cocky, not arrogant. I'm gonna pick this one. But I know the Lord will humble him and open his eyes. He's also irresponsible, lazy. Mary, lay off, please. He is your brother, after all. I'm just saying he tends to think only of himself. Sorry, Gabby. Peter stopped to help me when my car got a flat. That's how we met. I was in an isolated part of town, and it was late. And he pulled over and changed my tire for me. Petey? Then he asked me if I wanted to go on a date. See, now that sounds like Petey. I said yes, but on one condition, that he would have to come to Sunday service at my church for our date. And we've oh. been going every week now for the last month. Petey's been going to church. Every Sunday. For a month. 
Good no. Lord in heaven, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Scared me. Oh my I'm goodness! Sorry. That was that was extreme. That was divine inspiration. Oh, okay, oh. you say so. Check it out of me. Oh, goodness. Well, guess where I saw it. Don't tell about the telemonitor as a superstar. Yeah, well, really, I'll I'll drive, obviously. Chris made a field. Okay, try it again. Put your tongue right here. You got it. Nice. All right. Now say burro. Burro. Perfect. <gasps> All right. How about carro? Carro. Amazing. All right. Now this is a hard one. Ready? Ferrocarril. Ferrocarril. Perfect. You're natural. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Wow, Lydia sounds so authentic. How about like perro? Perro. Perfect. Gabby's a natural teacher. Oh, she is something else. <laughs> and she got Peter in church. She's just too good to be true. I think she's a real keeper. I think she's out of Petey's league. What kind of thing is that to say about your brother? What? It's true. She's classy, and Peter still lives in your basement. He just got promoted at the hardware store. He's now in charge of the lumber department. <sighs> good for him. But he's still not paying you rent, though, is he? This is littleness on your part, and I don't like it, especially on Christmas. Wow, Mary, I, I don't know what is with you lately, but I don't know, you could try to be nice. Just give us a couple hours. I'm sorry I upset you. I just wish you'd be more supportive of your brother. That's Dad's, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Near the end of his life, I would read it to him every night before bed. He drew great comfort from it. Well, we both did. I just wanted to have it with me today. I really miss him too. Do you ever feel angry? No. Sad and lonely. Not angry. It's a part of life. Right, but he... He was so full of life. Ours is not to reason why, but to accept and trust. Dad used to say that. <laughs> yes, he did. And he was right. It was just your father's time, hon. Oh, I'm grateful for the 35 wonderful years the Lord gave us. We raised you, Martha and Peter, and have been blessed with three loving grandchildren. What about you? Are you angry at God? All right, so what do we think? <sighs> Sit or lie down? What do you think? Lie Sit. down. Lie down. Okay. Oh, Bill threw his back down. out. Easy, okay, easy, okay, easy, though. Easy, easy. Good. Ah, ah, can't sit. Okay, I told right. you, you need to lay down. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Are you, what? Uh, Harry. Right. Harry. Oh, what, I don't. What, I don't what, know. What, no, what, no, what, no, what, no. What, 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 no. What, what, oh no! Please no. Honey, 
It doesn't hurt anymore. You fixed it. <laughs> this guy. He's a one-man wrecking crew on the field. Put me down first and then Petey. Now he's a healer. Dad, you threw your back out by hiking the ball. Harry didn't even touch you. You really should have warmed up. You didn't warm up? Well, what is wrong with you? Do you think you're still a kid? Okay, hey, how about this? How about everyone who is not helping out in the kitchen upstairs and get cleaned up, please? Come on. Let's go, football stars. Those pro careers will wait. Get a move on. Okay, Petey, you do the honors. Just put this in there and light it. Okay. Not working. Huh. It's weird. They always light. Yeah, well not this time. It feels damp. May I? Sure, knock yourself out. Perhaps now it will work. He sings. He's got a green thumb. An NFL All Pro. A healer. And wait, last but not least, Master of the Flame. Whatever. Well done, Peter. Well done. Well done. It's oh, nice. Feels great. And how did your mother and father like their present, Lydia? Didn't work out so well. No, honey, we'll get it fixed. I dropped it. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Dad said we'll get it remade. That's so funny. That's what Pastor Steve's service was about this morning, about how we've been remade because of what started with the birth of Jesus. What did they talk about at your church, Mary? Lydia, tell Grandma. Why Lydia? Because Mom doesn't go to church anymore. Sorry, I'm going to go check on everyone out back. Is that right? I'm just... Things have been a little hectic around here, so I've missed a couple times. You told me that it was just today. Well, we've been dealing with some personal things. Is everything okay between you and James? Mom, I said it's personal. Yeah, and we're your family. Look, I don't want the third degree here. Okay, so can we just get dinner ready? Can we do that? Thank you. Scat! Snowy! You hit it, or I win again. Yes. Not this time, little brother. Nice shot. Want to go again? OK, but I go last this time. We ought to get Harry to play. You kidding? He'd probably pop the ball if he kicked it. What are you talking about? No, seriously, he could. You should have seen him at the football field. He's not normal. I mean, we're talking superhuman strength. <sighs> really? Right, Josh? Definitely not a regular guy. Or how about the way he sang in church, Lydia? Huh? Dad said like Parvati. Pavarotti, genius. Whatever. I never heard anybody sing like that. Or how about the way he spoke Spanish to Gabby and fixed Uncle Bill's back and the plants? Don't forget the plants. He knows them better than Grandpa and... Okay, okay. I get it. He's talented. And I'll give it to you. I've never met anybody quite like him. You know what I think? I think he's not human. So what is he then? An alien or something? <laughs> Here's what I think. You two aren't human. Because no one who is could come up with such a dumb idea. You're first, alien hunter. Tee it up. So, Peter, you consider yourself to be agnostic? Yeah, I guess. I've enjoyed going to church with Gabby. This sermon's got me thinking. Well, that's good to hear, Petey. Not saying I believe yet or anything. But you are considering it. That is good. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, 
and shall be opened unto you. Sermon on the Mount. I was gonna say that. Really? I... I was. The Lord is loving and merciful, Peter. Reach out to him. Here's he will embrace you. Let's say he's real and loving and merciful like you say. I've had a lot of bad things happen in my life. Were you not, however, the agent of your own suffering? Meaning I did to myself? Yeah, okay, a lot of it true enough, it's on me. But what, what about Gabby? Her parents died when she was just a kid. Was that her fault? It's no one's fault. It's just God's will to take them to him. I hear you, but I can't understand how that's loving and merciful. No, we can't see the whole picture. Nobody can, but James God can. And he does. Martha and I were uh, living in Seattle, and she had just given birth to Josh when I lost my job. Didn't have a whole lot of money, and the economy was lousy. Couldn't find anything for months, and I was afraid. Real afraid. Then out of nowhere, I got a job offer here, of all places, close to the family. And I mean, out of nowhere. Turns out to be the best gig I've ever had, and I'm still there 10 years later. Have you had fears like that, James? Uh huh. And doubts? Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of times. I think, ultimately, for me, though, whether things turn out like they did for Bill or like they did for Gabby with her parents, good or bad, you trust God or you don't. And do you? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in, in green, green pastures. pastures. He leads me besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. From King David, whom God considered a man after his own heart, despite his fears, doubts, and failings. Allow me to help, Mary. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, silverware needs to be put up. Thank you, Gabby. Thanks, guys. Okay. Where's Petey? I don't know. He should be helping. Outside, maybe? It's not surprising, I guess. Oh, hey, nice of you to join us, Pete. Hey. Your guest, Gabby, is out there helping with everyone else. Everyone except you, as usual. Mary, please. Yeah, please pretend to be nice, huh? Pretend? I'm sorry, I, I thought that was your department, since you're even going to church with Gabby to stay in her good graces. Mind your own business. Okay, well, she'll see through you eventually and leave like all the others. Hey, Mary, That's uncalled for. No, 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 it's okay. Wow, Mayor, real Christian of you. I'm sorry, is that the atheist questioning my faith? Yeah, that's right. 
Why don't you try extending the love and grace our pastors are always talking about? Hey, let's enjoy this day together, okay? You're not the only one who's sad Dad died. Just look at Mom. Doesn't give you the right to be nasty all the time. I love you, Mary, but you haven't... You haven't been yourself these past couple months. Okay, okay, you know what? I've just been under a lot of pressure and dealing with some really stressful things. Stress, pressure, we all got it. Not like this. Ferris the woe is me routine. You know what? Stop it, okay? Oh, oh poor Mary. My life's so hard, that's why I'm so mean. You know what? I am done with this conversation. I am done. You can't admit the truth. There's no excuse. You're just not. What is it? Salt and light, more like vinegar and darkness. You want the truth? Yeah. yeah. You Let's want the it. truth? Yes. James is dying. What? No. Good morning, Mrs. Boyce. Mr. Boyce, thank you for coming in. Good morning. Hi. I want you to know that I believe in being direct, so my patients have as clear a picture of the situation as possible. Unfortunately, the news isn't what I'd hoped for. Your test results show that the disease has progressed despite treatment. Uh, okay. Now, barring a trial for experimental treatment, which is very unlikely, our options are really just palliative care and pain. I'm sorry, what are you saying? Okay, Mary, let her finish. Well, while every case is different, with numbers like yours, Mr. Boyce, most patients don't live more than 18 months. Okay. No! Okay. I'm so sorry. No! The doctor gave us 18 months. I just don't know if we'll be here next Christmas. I... Mary, I'm sorry. Are you? You're not as sorry as I am. Let's let it go. No, no! I am gonna be a widow! I'm gonna be a widow with three children! Do you know how that feels? Do you? Three? three? And our kid may never really get to know their father. Okay, so please forgive me if I have been less than charming lately. Mom, Mom, wait. Great. Way to go, Peter. I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? I know. I just need a minute. Yeah. Oh, mm -mm. Come on, just give me a second. No, no. I won't give you another minute. I, I'm sick of this, this crawl into your shell routine. It's getting old. And it's selfish, okay? You think you're the only one who's scared here? Come back to what you believe in, come back to your family, all right? Because we're waiting for you. Mary. Oh my gosh. Oh, you scared me. Do not be afraid. Where did you come from? From the Most High. I'm sorry, now's just really not a great time, okay? I just, I just want to be alone, okay? Mary, I have been sent to strengthen you in your season of doubt. Oh, what? So, I mean, just a minute ago, you're setting my dining room table, and now you're, what, you're a counselor? Your request, made this very morning. Yeah, I'd settle for just one with some good news. Uh, okay, so, um, so you're here to give me good news. What, is James gonna be healed? 
This I do not know. The Lord alone knows his fate. Harry. Do not lose hope. a future without my husband my kids without a father what hope is there in that the almighty is faithful his love steadfast remember what he did on this day all those years ago by sending the savior to rescue man from the dominion of darkness and bring him into that kingdom of that very son whom he loves in whom all who believe in him have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. I believe that. But that's also the past. And the future is what? Neither you nor I know what the future holds. But we know who holds the future. Yeah, I know, but... Trust in him with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Mary? Mary? Buddy? Mary? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's I want freezing. to tell you how much I love you. Oh my God. I want to tell you how much I love you. Oh, we're going to be with you every step of the yes. way. Yes, I love you so much. Yes, yes. praying for James, you and the yes. children. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Anything that you need, oh, anything. Yes. Here, we're here. Thank you. I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I should have told you guys so long ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. It can take time before you're able to talk about something like yeah. this, honey. I know, I know, I know, but I've just, I've been so distant and... It's so unpleasant. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's in the past. It's in the past. <laughs> Not yet. They, I had no idea. I like know. none. Do you guys know? Yeah, I can't imagine what she must be going through. Okay, you good? I love you. Now go, grab your mother, bring her in here. Uh, otherwise we're gonna cap off this unforgettable day by burning that ham to a crisp. Okay, go on. Oh my gosh, my babies. Oh, I love you guys so much. I love you, Mom. Me too. Oh, oh and listen, guys, I, I am so sorry. I've just, I have behaved so badly, and I and I also should have told you about your your little <laughs> brother or, or sister. I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna be okay, right? We're good? Yeah? Okay, come here. Oh, I love you. Mary, I just want you to know. No, Peter, please, let, let me, okay? I apologize for how I treated you, okay? And, and you're right. There is no excuse. And I, I, I just really want to start over. All right, I just know more of this, like, sniping and criticism between us. I mean, I mean you're my baby brother. I love you. <laughs> oh, and you going to church is a real answer to prayer. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Thank God. And Gabby. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, you. Hey. Gosh, I... I must have been terrible to live with these last couple months. Oh, I know, and, and I've just... I have not been a good wife to you, and, and I haven't been a good mom to Bye. our kids. Come on. You are the best wife a guy could ask for. And a wonderful mother to all three of our kids, which is, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Wild and exciting. <laughs> and yes. Yes, what? I forgive you for being terrible the past couple months. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Who could that be? Got me.
Guys, it's carolers. Come on. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never, over us all to reign. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Well done. Well done. How about joy to the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. we have a joy to the world. <laughs> Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Christmas, you guys. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That was lovely. Wasn't it? I remember how much your father loved caroling. Oh, he did. If only they had done... Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Well, that's your father's Dad's favorite, favorite Christmas, Christmas song. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic host proclaim Claim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh, the God at sea, hail the incarnate deity. Pleased as men with men to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with he in his wings mild he lay his glory by born that man no more may die born to raise the sons of earth born to give them second birth hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king Told you he can sing. <laughs> wow, that was something else. Magnificent. I only wish your father could have been here with us. It was his most beloved Christmas carol. Mine too. It so thoroughly captures the spirit of the first nativity. The joy of all present at the coming of Jesus the Christ. What a sight to behold. You speak with a real joy for it yourself, Harry. It's almost like he lived it. The Nativity 
was like nothing before or since. The bright star blazed in the night sky over Bethlehem, the town of David, marking the site of the miraculous virgin birth. And though seen by all, its meaning was veiled, its purpose uncertain. Thus, the nativity was as yet unknown to the local inhabitants. But the Lord of hosts sent forth one of his charges to declare the joyous news. So brilliant was the burst of the Almighty's reflected glory that it terrified shepherds watching their flocks nearby. The angel of the Lord, however, spoke words of comfort to reassure them. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly a great multitude of the heavenly host joined him, and they praised the mighty one, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. When the angels had departed, returning to heaven, the shepherds entered Bethlehem with due haste to behold what had come to pass. And those shepherds, chosen by God to bear first witness to his gift of salvation, found the babe lying in a manger with Mary and Joseph at his side. Shepherds then returned to their fields, praising God for everything they had heard and seen. They made known to all they met what was told to them about the child, whose name was called Jesus. Just as the angel Gabriel had instructed Mary before the babe's immaculate conception. That was the most wonderful telling of the nativity story I have ever heard. Even more passionate than your singing, Harry. <laughs> oh, that's dinner. Oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. let's get this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And here it is, Mom's fabled Christmas ham. <laughs> <laughs> fabled? You even know what that means? Yeah, uh, really good. At least that's what Dad calls it. It's true. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, thank you, son. And, um, I just want to say thank you to the rest of you, too. I was really dreading today. I mean, with, with Dad last year and, and James's diagnosis, I... I really just wanted to be left alone and let it pass. But now I'm so glad that you're all here. I mean, it's everyone that we love. Mm -hmm. And everyone that loves me, even though I've been kind of unlovable lately. <laughs> but you've stuck by me. Especially you, honey. You've been such a rock through all of this. I love you so much. And Harry, I mean, what a welcome presence you have been in our family today. And I know we haven't known each other long, but I dare say that none of us will soon forget you. <laughs> Especially Uncle Petey. No, not the car! No, no, the car! <laughs> Hey, you're not going to get the drive it, kid. I'm not even old enough. <laughs> okay, okay. In all seriousness, I had given in to my circumstances. And you helped open my eyes to that. So, um, although there is still uncertainty, and I'm, I'm bound to have doubts. I know that I'm not alone. 
and we are not alone. And we are not without hope. So, thank you. You are welcome. And praise God, from whom all blessings flow. We certainly thank him for you being here. <laughs> yes, we do. Now, uh, what do you say we get at that fabled Christmas, Sam? All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't we thank him for that as well? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many blessings on our lives. And we thank you for sending your son on Christmas Day for our salvation. Thank you for every family member here at this table and for the food that has been prepared. We love you. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Now, for the fabled ham. Yes. Hand me your plate. Yes. All this. Josh. We'll be praying for James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was wonderful to meet you, you sooner. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. Hey, oh, we're, we're gonna intercept it. Sorry. I know. You guys just yeah. jumping right in there. It's so nice to have had you here. So I'm so much. glad you came. I'm glad we met. Yeah, yes. really. Is that your phone that I hear? Yeah. I was calling me at Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we definitely have to get together on that. Grab a coffee. Or something. You promise? Yeah, you'll get to drive it. Only in the driveway. And don't tell your mother. Right, mother? No. <laughs> she didn't hear you. We don't say anything. <laughs> it's fine, you guys are too young. Not at all? Anyways. No, nothing. Like it never happened. <laughs> oh, it's just incredible. I right? Know. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I, uh, I don't know how to say thank you for everything that you've done today. There is no need. I'm but a servant. And I've only done my duty. Mary, come in here, quick. I better go see what he needs. And this starts after the new year? And you're sure I've been approved? Okay. Um, uh, Merry Christmas to you too. Okay, bye. What happened? Who was that? Uh, that was, that was Dr. Eller. Calling on Christmas? What did she yeah. want? She got me in on a clinical trial for experimental treatment. I start in January. I mean, baby, there's no guarantees. But... I don't know. We'll take it. We'll take it. Take care. Oh my God. We'll take care. Guys, is everything okay? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh, it's better than okay. It's um, it's fantastic. What is mom? What? Uh, sweetheart, that was my doctor, and um, it looks like I'm gonna be starting a new treatment. Looks hopeful. We prayed for that. Got the answer, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I mean, we we knew the, the doctor told us that a trial was a possibility when she gave us the diagnosis, but it seemed like a long shot, so... I'm really happy for you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so happy. Where's Harry? He left. Without saying goodbye? Yeah, he said that he needed to go. He didn't have time to wait. I offered to give him a ride. He said he had to go by himself. He went out the door and he was gone. Just gone into the darkness. <laughs> Just disappeared into the night. Mr. A man right to the end. He left this for you. But asked that you don't open it until after we leave. You see what I mean? Merry Christmas! And Happy New Year, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, we stick together. Okay? I support you, you support me. We'll be fine. No. How about I grab the kids and we find out what Harry left you? That's right. I know. I almost forgot. Me too. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Kids! Come on! Read it out loud. Yeah, so we all can hear it. All right, give her a minute. Dad. <laughs> Dearest Mary, before you read on, first go to the living room. There on the end table you will find a memento which I have left for you. Okay. I guess we're going to the living room. 
Yes, we are. Okay. Right. It's the picture. But it got broken. Yeah, we saw it all smashed up. The glass, the frame, everything. The glass doesn't even have a crack. It looks perfect. It is perfect. Hold that. I leave you this restored gift as a token, ever to remind you that ours is a mighty God for whom nothing is impossible including the mending of the broken hearts of those suffering from loss and sorrow. He who sacrificed his son to save the lost will never leave or forsake you. So do not cast away your confidence in him, and remember that though we know not what the future holds, we know who holds the future, servant of the Almighty Herald. You see that? Hey, he spelled his name wrong. What do you mean? See, that's not the name Harold. That would be H-A-R-O-L-D. Huh. What do you know? I don't understand. Well, Lydia's right. This isn't the name Harold. It's Harold as in H-E-R-A-L-D. What's that? It was a job in ancient times. Harold was kind of a messenger. Yeah, and someone who would deliver important news for a high-ranking person, like a king. Or the king of kings. As in a herald angel? What are you saying? Harry's an, an angel? angel? I told you, Lydia! I told you! I knew he wasn't human. I just knew it! You said it was a dumb idea, but now what do you have to say about it? I told her mom, I told her dad, but she wouldn't listen. I can't wait to tell Josh about this. Oh man, what a day! 